what's going on, YouTube, fam? This your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end to hear the full story and all the details in the case. For the day one fam, y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Let's get right into the story. Social media. Since it started, it's definitely had its pros and cons. Over the years, a lot of people have took the opportunity to make a brand or name for themselves, whether they're selling clothes, being a comedian, music, or really, whatever it is you bring to the table that people like. It has opened doors for people to build, feed their families, and share things with the world. That's on the up and up and the bright side of things. But on another note, social media has also become a kind of war zone and a place where you definitely got to expect the unexpected. If you post a picture of yourself or family, now you're paying yourself on what I like to call the cyber world chopping block. You might have to deal with negative comments from people you don't even know, never met, or they just simply get a kick out of getting under people's skin. Some can take it, laugh at the remarks and comments, and brush it off. But in a lot of situations, things can escalate. I never understood someone getting mad or screaming at a phone screen over a comment or going back and forth on live with a person they probably don't even know. But in some cases, it does get touchy. For a lot of the younger generation, I started to realize they use these platforms in a lot of different ways. Even following their so-called ops pages or people they are beefing with to see what they got going on or even trolling them. And unfortunately, sometimes the online beef can cross over into real life. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we will be taking it to Missouri to discuss a teen's comment under a picture that turned fatal. Isaiah Fitzgerald was born on May 17th, 2004 in Memphis, Tennessee, but eventually his family moved to Scott County, Missouri. Over the years, Isaiah was quiet but friendly, became involved in sports such as track, basketball, and football, in which he excelled that. As the young man grew into himself, he became more confident, outspoken, and what some would call headstrong. By 2022, Isaiah had graduated from Scott County Central High School. The very popular young man would often hang out with friends, play video games like most teens, but his main thing was still meeting up at the park and hooping, with dreams of one day working as a sports broadcaster. Being in a small rural town, where a lot of people knew each other, Isaiah also played social media to keep up with old friends from school or just to see what was going on around town. One day while scrolling on his timeline, the young man saw a post with a 20-year-old man named Tanner Watkins and a young woman posted up together. Tanner was letting it be known that was his girl and they were locked in. For whatever reasons, after seeing the picture, Isaiah put a laughing emoji under it. This made Tanner respond with a comment asking, so what's so funny? In which Isaiah stated, I saw such and such picture, so I replied, that's all, referring to the young lady, as he knew her. This made Tanner get into a whole nother mode, telling Isaiah, you always think something is funny and don't comment on my pictures. Tanner continued to state, it's smoke behind his girl, and Isaiah must then know who he was playing with. The two went back and forth for a minute, before Isaiah laughed it off. But Tanner would put a thumbs up with a target to let it be known it was beef between the two. In private conversation, the young men continued to go back and forth with each other before agreeing to meet up to fight at a local park in Sykeston, Missouri. On April 25th of this year, Isaiah, a homeboy, and a young lady decided it was time to meet Tanner and get whatever the problem was off their chest. Tanner also had his homie with him 18-year-old Caleb Ramsey. Being a small community and circle, a few other teens also came along to Rotary Park. That day as they all arrived on a quiet Tuesday afternoon, an altercation broke out between the groups. Not long after, everyone returned to their cars and shots went off from multiple vehicles. 
Local police were called to the park, which was right next to a golf course. When they arrived, they found two people shot, an 18 year old man and 18 year old girl. Another teen was sitting in the back seat unharmed. The male victim was rushed to a local hospital with a gunshot wound to the face. He would unfortunately not survive his injuries. He was later identified as 18 year old Isaiah Fitzgerald. The young lady would fortunately survive the shooting. Back at the scene, the detectives recovered shells from an AK-47, assault rifle, and also handguns. As news spread about the incident, everyone already knew who Isaiah was meeting up with to fight, Tanner. Isaiah's sister would go on social media and plead with friends not to retaliate and let the police do their job. Not too long after, Tanner and Caleb were picked up and taken into custody. Police allegedly found the rifle used in the shooting. They were both charged with first degree murder, first degree assault, armed criminal action, and weapon violations, and given no bail. Family and friends held the vigil to remember Isaiah, being a young man full of life who had dreams and always was a shoulder to lean on for friends and family. The social media posts between him and Tanner would eventually go viral, as most viewed it as a young man who lost his life over an emoji. But the small town stated it was a little deeper than that, as Isaiah either had some kind of dealings with the young lady on the picture or knew her personally. This case hasn't made its way to trial yet, and both Tanner and Caleb are innocent and to prove the otherwise. Rest in peace to Isaiah. I send my deepest prayers and condolences to his family. This, to me, is the downside of social media. A picture and comments led to these two young men beefing in real life. Shots going off and Isaiah being gone. It's really petty, but in today's world, most look at the internet as real life. It would have been easy for Tanner not to pay attention to the comment, but his pride got in the way, feeling tried about his girl. I know most going to say Isaiah shouldn't have put the emoji there in the first place, but that's the thing about it. Once you post a picture or a status online, you are now putting yourself on display for negative or positive attention, and we got to accept that both ways. The main thing Tanner was trying to protect was his relationship with that young lady. But now I'm facing life in prison, I'm sure that's over with. It's a lose-lose situation. I want to know what y'all think about this situation. Leave it in the comments. Definitely be respectful. And remember, we got to succeed not to fail. So we won't be just another hood to... Man, that's a crazy situation. Rest in peace to that young man. I think it's probably a little deeper than they putting out there. It seemed like Isaiah definitely knew the young lady. And as far as Tanner... He was feeling some kind of way about the situation. He asked Isaiah, was he feeling some kind of way? So, yeah, man. But at the end of the day, fellas, it's super petty. And woman, to beef over somebody, you feel me, that you just got in a relationship with, or even if you've been in a relationship with them, what's for you going to be for you. What's not for you, you going to already know. So all this extra stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, that's my girl. That used to be your girl. It's petty. You see where it lead at. And then at the end of the day, Shorty gonna go do whatever she wanna do. Cause now, Tanner not there. So yeah, man, leave it in the comments. Like I said, definitely be respectful. I appreciate y'all if y'all made it to the end. This is another episode of Hood Tales. It's all love, fam. This your boy Tony two times. I'm out.